Well, hello, friends. Hello, neighbors. Uh, I'm Perry from Cornbread Creek Farms. Today, I've got a little something special for you. Our greenhouse is getting a little bit overgrown. It's getting a little bit too full. So we're going to remedy all that. Uh, I'm going to break this down into two parts today. Uh, one, we're going to do some cleanup on our squash and zucchini. Then the other part, I'm going to deal with the tomatoes. Uh, come on inside. Let me show you what we got going on. I'm not sure I can get pulled back far enough, but as you can tell, this little greenhouse is just getting quite full. Uh, this is squash over here, and then over here next to it's my zucchini. Let me kind of just let you pan around and see the greenhouse. It's just getting everything's starting to get big and full, and it's starting to make it where it's difficult to walk in here. So what we gotta do is we gotta make this stuff to where it can breathe. Um, if we look up in the leaves, you can kind of see how it's just getting to be just a bunched up tangled mess. Uh, usually these plants, they'll run along the ground this way. Well, we're gonna teach them to travel up this little spoo right here it's pretty tight and uh, we're going to add some more uh, catches to it and just keep it growing straight up and then but down here on the bottom it's getting real full so what we're going to do is we're gonna, i'm going to get me some shears little pruning shears i just use these little fish scars they do really well uh, i've got some big ones but i just prefer the little ones a lot of times what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here. Let me see if I can get you in here a little bit better. It's hard to see right now, but you can see right here like these old flowers. These ain't no good anymore. So we want to come up to where we've got new growth and we want to get rid of all this old growth that's in here. So like, so like this one right here, it's gonna slip that right off. That one, slip it off. Let's get this out of the way. We want stuff to be able to breathe in here. So we're just gonna come in here and just start just cleaning some, cleaning the bottom of this plant up. There's a fresh flower that's gonna come out, so we don't wanna go up no higher than that. With all this down here on the bottom. I'm gonna take it off. Uh, this down here, this ain't really doing a whole heck of a lot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just, and the leaves are kinda looking a little bit rough, so I'm gonna go ahead and just clip it off. There we go. We'll just kind of, oh, about hit my camera. Just kind of clean some of this stuff up just a little bit. Now then, kind of get in there a little bit better to it. All right, we're actually going to use a, a little tomato clips like this right here, and we're just going to keep this growing straight up. Maybe I can get you in here a little bit closer. I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but I'm gonna kinda come up here toward the top of my plant a little bit. I'm gonna put this little clip around here. Be real careful not to choke nothing or strangle anything, but let me see if I can get you. There you see, we're just gonna keep this growing straight up. Now I need all these all this squash to start blooming to where I can pollinate it. But as we start losing flowers and stuff down here, we're just gonna keep this trimming off. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one and this one and just get it out of the way. These leaves are getting kind of big and just getting real obtrusive and 
I'm gonna just get rid of that one too. All these old flowers right here ain't doing no good. All right, that kind of lets airflow kind of come in here a little bit better and get in there. Now we're gonna move on over, moon on over. We're gonna move on over to our zucchini plant. This one's got, this one right here's got a little powder mildew going on with it. Uh, we're treating it, but we definitely gotta get rid of this leaf. Uh, on my zucchini, I'm having a lot of uh, male flowers, but this is the first female that I've had so far as this one. This has really been struggling, uh, but it looks like it's fixing to start taking off. But I'm gonna clean a lot of this up on the bottom right here where we can allow it to start breathing. Start off with that one right there. There we go. Let's give the chicken something good to eat. So I'm just gonna kinda go here and just clean the bottom of this off. Get rid of some of these old flower stems. That right there's gonna, it's already kinda broke, so it's gonna be in the way anyhow. Uh, we got a flower right there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one off. This will be a bit of that. Go ahead and clip all this. All right. But we got this one cleaned up pretty well. We're gonna do the same thing with the uh, tomato clips. We want to keep this thing growing up. So what I'll do, I'm trying to, it's so packed in here, I'm having a hard time moving my camera and getting y'all where you can see. All right, so I'm gonna attach that about right there. Kind of. Hope you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Now we'll just keep this just growing, growing straight up. Got some leaves over here in my squash. It's a little, I guess they're sunburnt a little bit. I'm gonna, we have some problems with a, a watering issue. Kind of had some loss due to that so I'm going to go ahead and clip some of these off and this will allow for new growth there we go I believe that'll be enough you can have a look down here in the bottom of what I would cut off I think the chickens will have a field day with all that well y'all i appreciate you joining me for this first part um of this if you will down in the comments let me know what do you like better do you like crook net squash like this one you like straight net squash spaghetti squash zucchini what's your favorite kind of squash just let me know down in the comments i like seeing what other people like but now if you will just join me for part two and we're gonna get doing some tomatoes. I'm gonna we're gonna do something that's called drop and lean on them. We're actually gonna take a tomato and we're gonna lay it down and let it start running across the greenhouse instead of growing straight up. Because this doesn't got so tall. Uh, but thank y'all for joining me. Uh, as always, I love you and God loves you. Just say hey to your mom and them for me. <laughs>